Hi, I'm here with Caitlin Haros, Development Coordinator for Portland Trails, longtime CTN member. Welcome, Caitlin. Thanks. Thanks for being on the show. Um, we just had you just coming off a, a very big, exciting new event that Portland Trails has hosted, the Brewers Holiday Dash Race. Tell us about how that all went. Yeah, absolutely. The race was actually hosted by RERA. They invited us to be um, a beneficiary of the event, and because we've done races in the past, yeah. we helped with registration and some of the other management aspects of the race. That's great, and you also had a huge turnout for this. I mean, first time race, you had a huge turnout. Yeah, we had an amazing turnout. So we expected probably 200 or 250 people for our first time race, and we were shocked to see that we had probably 450 um, just right after Thanksgiving, and we filled the race the week after that. Wow, so. and, and on the day of, pouring rain, terrible weather. Yeah, it was cold and rainy, and we still had 450 people come out, so That's it great. was a fabulous turnout. And you also had some people co collecting toys for tots that day, and you, you, did, you were fairly successful in that event, too. Yep, there was a bit of an incentive. People were offered an extra beer if they brought a toy, so... People it's definitely took advantage of that, beer. absolutely, <laughs> and we had Marines there collecting toys and filled nine boxes. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. So this event, you'll probably definitely do this again next year. We hope so. It raised over $7,000 for Portland Trails, so Great. definitely helped us out at the end of the year. And how is this different than the other race that you put on? Is it the fact that you've... You, you shared this with RERA or does it differ in any other way? Yeah, absolutely. The race we do in September every year is a 10K okay. and that race has a much higher capacity, um, but we manage all aspects of that 10K. So wow. it was nice to share the burden with RERA and we also had help from some of the local breweries, Shipyard, Geary's, Gritty's, and Allagash all donated some time Sounds and Sounds like a beer, tasty so. event to me. So Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So 2010, would you say, has been a very successful year for Portland Trails? Absolutely. Um, we did. The, um, we opened the Bayside Trail in August. Long time project. Absolutely. So 10 years in the making. It was great to have that open and see people using it even before the ribbon cut. cut yeah, in. really nice. People seem to be very, very happy about that specific area for sure. Definitely. Great. And so what events do you have coming up next year or what big plans do you have for the organization? That's a great question. So 2011 is actually our 20th anniversary. So great. we have events planned almost every month. Um, wow. We have our annual meeting in January. Yep. We'll do some winter type festival in February. We have our silent auction in April. We're opening our newest and longest trail in June for National Trails Day. Ooh. Um, and we'll have our 10K and some Discovery Trek walks over the summer. And then hopefully this race again in the winter. So Yeah, I mean, it's amazing that, like you said, during the holidays, this is the time of year people kind of buckle down, get busy with family, and what a turnout. So I hope I wish you the same luck next year. Yeah, thanks. And that, in addition to just getting people to donate to Portland Trails through the race, it's great to see people out using the trails in the middle of December. So, Do you see a lot of people who are interested in donating to Portland Trails participating in the activities? Do you see a lot, like a, an even mix between donors per se who just want to give the money and people who actually actively, because Portland Trails, you put on a lot of events, the treks, the tours, all year long you guys are very busy. What, what do you see for participation? Yeah, absolutely. We're a membership-based organization, so we have a lot of events that our members come to and it's a way to engage them and build that relationship. For this race in particular, we actually saw a lot of new people, so Great. hopefully they'll be engaged in Portland Trails in this way and only grow their involvement with us. So. Yeah. Do you, Now, aside from being very busy next year, does Portland Trails have one mission or one kind of goal for next year or, or theme that you're working under? Sure, I think our focus will be on the 20th anniversary yeah, and our... Celebrate. Yeah, absolutely. Our theme for that is sort of building. Um, so it's 20 years in building. We'll be looking at what projects we can do in the future. But Great. we also want to celebrate the trails that we already have. And we have over 35 miles of trails in our network. And we just want to make sure those trails are the best they can be. So celebrating what we have and making sure, yeah, people understand that maintenance. And we'll be installing signage. So. Just improving the trails that we already have will be a focus. It sounds like a great year of reflection and planning and just almost starting fresh 
um, it's nice to look back, just like the end of the year. It's nice to look back at what you've done and look ahead at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. We wish you luck. And how can people find out more information about Portland Trails, what you guys have been up to, and what you will be up to? Sure. The best way to find things out is our website. It's www.trails.org. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here, Caitlin. And thanks for having me.